looking for a job? You are in the perfect place. Today, I will share with you 10 tips on how to get hired. Send all the information for the application as it is required. It sounds trivial, but you will not imagine how many people totally ignore this step. From our personal experience, many artists send us random applications. For example, they don't attach portfolios. I cannot really understand how you may forgot to attach portfolio as it's the most important thing as it speaks for your skills. Or they send applications where at first glance you can see that someone didn't spend too much time preparing. This way, you show that you have no ability to handle simple instructions or what is worse, that you don't care. The next important thing that is probably less obvious is understanding a boss. What is the reason why the company wants to hire? What do they need for a person in a specific job position? A boss needs to hire a person to solve a specific problem and your goal is to show him how you can help him to solve this problem. What skill set do you have that may be helpful? What characteristics do you have that the team may benefit from? and what value you may bring to the company. On top of this, you may be sure that independence is an appreciated skill in each position. For this reason, if you show at the early beginning that you cannot handle simple tasks like sending your application correctly, for example, there is a red flag for recruiters. They will think about how you will handle complex projects. Mastering the essential software should be your goal, but it shouldn't be a limitation. The more skills you have, the more advanced level of knowledge you possess, the more options you will have. You can get a higher position as a result and earn more. On this channel, you will find plenty of tutorials about the top software used by professional RV studios, Videos Max, Corona, V-Ray, and plugins available to this. On the other hand, some companies hire without experience and they will train you along the way. But as a result, you will get a lower position and lower earnings. So you shouldn't see this as limitation, but as a way to improve and get better options. What is more important for you? What do you value the most? The 3D skills or personal characteristics? I think the personal characteristic is the, is the key uh, for us because all of the technical knowledge, the 3D knowledge, you can learn from us. If you are a quick learner, then this is not a problem. Uh, but your personal like, attitude, your mentality uh, is really the key for us. And uh, we have a really huge number of, uh, of people who started with us without any knowledge and then they became really great artists uh, and uh, have really nice careers. Read your portfolio carefully. Choose your top projects. Don't try to include all of them if there is no need for this. Try to create a portfolio with different kind of projects to show your diverse skills. Showcase a variety of projects, including residential, commercial, interior and exterior renders, as well as animations. It all depends on what you have, but it's also worth creating some new personal projects dedicated to a portfolio. Also, you may create a different portfolios for various companies that include the projects that are the best match for the type of work they do. Gain a better understanding of the RVs industry. Be familiar with industry standards and best practices by listening to people from the field, watching tutorials and reading blogs and articles. Learn various approaches and find out about the artistic and technical sides of artists. You may find tons of information on this YouTube channel, for instance. The Studio Tour series is perfect for getting to know various approaches and understanding how professional studio work. Pay attention by being organized by proper file structuring and assets management to ensure smooth project workflow. These things are appreciated, not required, in professional studios. There is always a place for developing the skills, in both craft itself and the technology. No matter what level you are, refine your skills. Try different methods of working. Perhaps consider different approaches of creating visualizations and animations. Also, stay updated with what is going on in the industry. What are the new releases of the software? What are the new plugins, scripts to use, and so on? AI is definitely a hot topic at this moment, so make sure you are not left behind. No matter what is your take on this, stay updated with AI tools that may help you in your job now or in the future. I've created a video on this topic. I put the link to it in the corner and in the description below the video. Sometimes you need to adapt if you want to get a position or learn new software or a plugin. It is important to be as flexible as you can. It is a valuable characteristic that may be a calling card for you. 
In today's online world, being present on the internet can be really helpful. Adding your work to the industry galleries can give you recognition and help you with finding your dream job. For this reason, I would love to invite you to apply your work to our showcase section. Your work not only can be visible on our website, but also we will publish the best works on our social media. I put the link to it in the corner and in the description below the video. Besides, don't forget about creating your social media accounts where you share your work and build your position in the field. Many companies look for talented artists in different places nowadays. They may contact you one day if they like your images, so it is worth doing so. On top of that, you may go ahead of the competition and create a professionally looking website instead of sending a CV and portfolio. Not only does it present your work better and gives a good impression, but also it is more accessible for recruiters than PDF format and make you stand out from the crowd. Participating in competitions is another way to develop your skills, get exposure and create fantastic work for your portfolio. Multiple actions in one. So not only you build your position in the industry, but also get more experience and challenge yourself. If this sounds great to you, I want to invite you to RV's Artist Awards 2023. Great prizes, awesome sponsors, plus you can apply with existing or new projects. Check out the details on our website. I put the link in the corner and in the description below the video. Networking is a great opportunity to build your group of contacts. When you know many people from the industry, your life becomes easier. There is always someone who looks for employees, and there is always someone who looks for a job. By word of mouth, you might be easily connected with the right person. So, for example, during the conversation, you say that you look for a job, and someone may know a person who is looking for an artist. So he contacts you with his friend, and here you go, the job is fine. Okay, you pass the first step. The recruiters like your portfolio. Now, the company invites you for a job interview. Awesome! Now, it's time for preparation. Not only prepare the answers for potential questions you may get, but also do some research. You should know about the company as much as you can. For example, what type of work do they do? What do they value? What is important to them? But above all, get to know their projects. All of this may help you to craft your answers and show them that you really care, that you do your job precisely, and that you really want to be part of the team. Remember, finding a dream job takes time and dedication. Continuously improve your skills, stay passionate about the industry, and be persistent in the search for opportunities. Check out our website to learn, find out about job opportunities, and showcase your work. Also, watch other videos here on YouTube. Bye-bye!